Hey guys, so if I've got an event on a Friday or Thursday night, I'm going to start on the Monday beforehand preparing by using a gradual tanner. This is the Latan Daily Glow, which is awesome, smells amazing, so easy to apply and keeps my skin hydrated throughout the process. So when I use it every day, each day when I wake up, it will be more tan the day before and here I am on the Wednesday. So after using it three days, this is what it looks like and now I'm applying one last coat because the event is the Thursday night, so the night after this. Um, and then on the Thursday, my skin is super tanned. I didn't put it on my face, however, um, and I can start my makeup. So this is the, uh, what is this? This is the Revlon Photo Ready Primer. I hadn't tried it before, which is why I was opening it um, from the sticker, but it's like a silicone-y type primer, and then I'm going to apply my foundation. And I actually really, really like the result. So this is the AX1 foundation. You can buy this from lookfantastic.com. It's such, such, such a good foundation if you've got olive or yellow undertone to your skin. I'm using F200 here on a huge brush. The brush is from, what's it from? Tarte, and it's really, really good. This is a, I do like this pencil, do you know what? But I do find that it's kind of thick, and so it's a little bit more difficult to get the nice fine point to the tail, but it's the Bobbi Brown um, eyebrow pencil, so. Yeah, at the end I always rub the foundation brush through it so that it looks more natural. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer Pencil. Now look, I've been finding it really hard to tell if this is meant to prime your eyebrows or your eyelids, but what it says on the pencil is that it's an eye primer, so I'm assuming, I mean, I think that's what it is. Now I tried to use my shadow shields, but they just weren't sticking. I don't know why I've gone back to shadow shields after loving the pad method. That one even like totally broke off. <laughs> There's like utter disgust on my face. So I had to like cut off the top of it and try use the base and yeah. This is my Too Faced pa palette. Whoa. And I'm using like the berry tones and the taupe tones to just do a really simple smoky eye. So I'm putting like the taupe shade all over my eye. It's such a nice satiny color. And then blending out the edges. And then close to the lashes, I applied the darker burgundy shimmery shade to make it really intense around the lash line so that you know my eyelashes sort of explode out of darkness and intense smokiness. I'm using the pencil from the palette to line the outer edge of the top eyelid and then I smudged it out and go back over it with some of that darker eyeshadow and the darker eyeshadow from that has little sparkles in it and so it looks really nice and peeling that off is totally going to give you wrinkles Chloe, don't do that anymore. Um, this is the Nude Sticks um, concealer which you know what, it's so creamy and it's such a good colour match and I think that's why I use it but I don't think it has very good coverage power and it doesn't really stay that well to be honest but it's just so easy. This is the pencil once again just going in on the waterline and the inner rim or the upper rim and this is like the must for every smoky eye. I really do believe that you shouldn't really skip this step if you're going to call it a smoky eye. It just makes it so much more intense, your eye colour pops and the smoke starts at the lashes or right in the rim of the eye and then blends out into the softest color. Now I'm just concealing my pimples again and because I've got a dark eye, I don't mind that I don't have the greatest coverage using this concealer because that's the kind of thing that I like. Um, and then to blend out the concealer, I just use like a different brush. And I was not happy with the Nude Sticks concealer, so I added um, a stronger highlight underneath my eye using the Urban Decay Naked one, which is such a great foundation, sorry, not foundation, concealer, and it's also a really good eye primer. Now, mascara, obviously super duper important. Um, I really like the, what's this one again? Oh, Benefit. They're real, yes, which I don't actually think is that great, but like, I don't know, I find it hard to mold my eyelashes into the place that I want, um, but it's still pretty good and like my eyelashes have been permed so they look so much better after getting that done by Amy Jean um, here in Australia. Um, and I did want to add lashes but I just couldn't be bothered because it was really just like a work dinner. So yeah, that's um, I left it like that and I was pretty happy with that. Then moving on, well firstly zooming out so I can flirt with myself in the viewfinder. <laughs> um, this is the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D and I'm just using it to carve out like some cheekbones and stuff because my foundation was kind of light compared to the fake tan. Um, or I just think because the light, my filming lights hit my face first, it always makes my face look lighter than the rest of my body but 
yeah, I was tanning myself up here with the Shade and Light palette, which is totally awesome. And I'm using um, Tarte brushes. And then this blush, it's the Kiss and Blush from YSL, which is so, so nice, but I never really use it. But I love these nice dusky rose colors for cheeks because it's just so natural and flattering and all that jazz. And it's a really nice product, although I have not even tried it on my lips yet. And it's meant to be Kiss and Blush. But yeah, I do really, really... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, should have cut that out. Um, look how nice and silky my hair is. I had just had my hair dyed that day, the day that I filmed this. FYI, I love the colour. She made it a bit more cool toned. Um, and this is a highlight from Bobbi Brown. It was limited edition at Christmas time, so it's not available anymore. But oh, I really, really, really love this highlight. It's kind of like, it's not the usual type of shimmer. And when I blend it into my cheekbones, like you'll see just here using this Tarte brush, it gives like a glassy effect. It's not a regular shimmer, like a powdery shimmer. It's just so beautiful. Um, and then for my lips, I'm using, I think it's called Barely There from MAC. And I just did a big MAC order and got it like a couple days before this. But it's such a nice color. I'll put it in the description box. If you can get it, it's rarely in stock. But I was just so lucky the day I went into MAC to get that. Um, okay. Ooh la la. Um, now I'm going to add a little bit more bronzeness, just using the Latan Wash Off. This just makes my skin look so much more even, like without the commitment. And there are multiple different shades in this product, but I'm just using the lightest one, I believe, in the shade Bronze. I was wearing like a tank dress, um, which you'll see in a second, so I was applying this. It doesn't smell bad at all, it doesn't really have a smell because it's just a wash off. So you apply it like just for when you want an extra pop of tan, and then you can wash it off when you get home with soap and like, you know, a sponge or something. And then I didn't really want to put much effort into my hair, so I used the VIP spray from Kerastase. And here I am putting on my dress. This is the Rib Tank Midi Dress from Enza Costa. And I wanted to put a little bit more fake tan on because look at that cleavage with this fake tan. It is so easy to get a contoured look with this. I used it on my legs as well because my calves were exposed because it's a midi dress. And I did blend that in with my hands as well. Now I just used my Rexona deodorant, which is very necessary. And this is, I, oh, do you know what? I think it's Salvatore Ferragamo perfume, which is a little bit of a mature scent, I think, but it works for evening occasions and it's really nice. And then because I had like gone all out with the fake tan and with my dark hair and everything in the smoky eye, I wanted to make my tan pop using silver jewelry because obviously it contrasts the most against the tan. So I use these really beautiful dainty necklaces which I got from Shopbop. They're so, they're really cheap and they're real plated silver and they're so shiny. These heels are from Nine West, aren't they amazing? Um, I absolutely love them and they're so comfy. They're the perfect height for comfort. And then that's it. This jacket though was of course the finishing touch because it is winter in Australia and I love how the zips are silver like the necklace. And so that's how I chose to complete my look. Hope you guys loved the video. I love doing get ready with me. It's all better cover the puppies up. It did get a bit out of hand there. <laughs> this is my last video that I'm going to be uploading until I go over to London. So all my next videos are going to be pre-recorded except for some travel vlogs. And I'll see you in those. Bye.